Hello again, I'm back at it this time with the crossbow. And this time it's not actually a reload crossbow, it's just a crossbow crossbow. Um, with some other perks on it, it definitely looks cool. Uh, one of my favorite looking weapons at least, especially when it's poison. And then I've got slicing blades, these are just here to be here, probably not even going to take them out. Um, I won't even show the slicing blades, but here we've got um, the bow. So it is this, 75 poison damage plus slowing, um, probably one of the best. Uh, I am I was looking throughout my 77-ish pages in my fabricator for something, either poison, ice, or fire in the top, so 75 whatever effect damage, and then plus slowing and plus critical, but I don't think that exists. I don't think it's possible to get critical and slowing and an effect in the top. Um, I could be totally wrong. Ugh, sorry, I had to silence the phone. But I could be totally wrong. Um, I, I don't think I am, though, unfortunately. And, yeah, so you can see it does 75 damage as opposed to the reload crossbows, which, say, like right here, uh, seven-shot reload crossbow does only 43 damage. Um, so even though it has seven shots, which almost 100% makes it better um and i could just do this and bam 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 i'm gonna try 75 damage so almost double the damage um but i can only shoot once at a time so i have to reload it every time i shoot so we'll see that'll probably improve my accuracy but at the same time i can't mow down em enemies like they're uh i i don't know mow them down like i have a machine gun or an assault rifle or something so, uh, let's go ahead and do Think in Vile Halls. Go with the poison aesthetic. And, uh, ooh, that's an interesting dungeon. I'm going to go for this one. I, it looks pretty small, but I'm going to do it anyway. I go straight first, and then I just basically take every left. Do some tier six, and here we go with the crossbow. It's funny because yeah I got the slowing so this arrow the purple is slowing whereas the poison arrow right there is poison but yeah so now that I have only one shot in my crossbow I will be going for headshots instead of just spamming the trigger button um, and yeah that'll be fun I also in yeah, there's always a key right there. So, bam, got that. Um, but yeah, so I've been making a lot of videos with bows because I personally love bows. Ooh. Uh oh. Yeah, so much for hitting my shots. There we go. Ooh. And I gotta make sure I reload properly too. It can be kind of tough. There we go. Um, oh, there's another. Wow. Dodge that. And he dodged mine. How dare he? Come on, man. Get hit. See if I had a, a pl plus reload here, this would not be much of an issue. I could just spam him down. Okay, but here I actually have to aim. And every every time I aim properly, he dodges it. Oh, and it's so close. Just kidding. Every time I aim properly, he... there we go. Finally. Oof. That was a lot more difficult than it should have been. That's okay. Um, so I was going straight first. And then I will take that right. There's also some guys here. Oh, barely missed them. Yeah, man, it's it's harder to the, harder than I would expect to hit some of these guys. That guy's hit right in the head or the neck. I don't even know what that is. There we go. That's definitely the head. And then kill this guy. And then bam. Nice. And you know, ideally here you would want to grab your two weapons and slice them. And then you do double the damage, but instead I've got a bow. I'm just finishing them. Um, <laughs> or at least I, I want to try to only use this, this run. It doesn't look like a huge dungeon either, so I don't want to get carried away and not even use it. Um, but yeah, as you can kind of see, uh, or as at least I'm noticing, I feel like it is a little bit easier to... Um, uh, a little bit easier to kill enemies even with this compared to the bow. Um, 
I feel like reloading and shooting with this and because it stays as a reload I don't have to have both my hands on it so that kind of helps I could even put it in my back and then take it back out and the arrow will still be there um, but yeah interesting stuff it's still like as as I say I, I think the crossbow is, is still more powerful technically than the bow uh, however the bow feels so much better in my opinion it's it feels nice and I, I think most people kind of agree with that because this is just like shooting gun you can you can shoot guns in any <laughs> any uh first person shooter vr game and that's basically all of the vr games that exist or like 90 percent of them so it's uh i don't know it's still fun though Oop, give me that key thank you oh i don't i do feel like i have better aim with the bow even though this i i mean i have more practice with the bow so it makes sense um but this should in theory be better because i only have one uh hand one hand that I have to worry about whereas the bow I've got two hands that can mess up my aim um, I guess in theory that could also help to balance out the aim um, oh, come on I just I want I gotta kill that guy uh oh oh jeez we got this archer no there we go good good um, bam right in the chest oh and obviously uh the thing i think i've mentioned before but um the crossbow is obviously better than the bow in the fact that oh i didn't know things spawned here uh but the fact that let's see if i can hit the shot i did sick um i think there was a slime that spawned here too but basically all of my shots will go through their weapons uh ew, there is a slime oh i thought i hit that that's crazy there we go um where there we go okay um but yeah so with the bow enemies can actually parry your attacks which is kind of silly um i gotta I gotta get up here Ugh. oh whoa what in the i teleported myself oops come on okay Whew. gotta be kind of tall to do that Ugh. or like jump or something i don't know I'm lucky I'm I'm just tall enough to reach that. Okay, there we we got this. Get some coins, get some stuff, force staff. Fantastic. Even though I definitely don't need a force staff. Alright. Um yeah, so as you can see, crossbow still powerful, even though it doesn't have plus reload, which is just makes it inherently better. Um it's still I would still say it's inherently better than the bow. Um, that plus reload just makes it another tier above. I, I might, I, I'm not sure if I actually made a video on the plus reload after it got nerfed. I might have, no, I think I did. Yeah, that was my update thought video. But okay, here we go. Push that door. Give me some gold or stuff. Ugh. Okay, we got a haste potion. So yeah, I have the map now. It's nice. It's like layered. <laughs> We've got multiple layers in this dungeon. Floors. Let's go down. Take the elevator. Ah, what's in? Oh, tier three chest. No, I ran out of keys. Okay, hopefully I can find keys throughout this dungeon some more. All right, shooting these guys down. Let's see if I can get this snipe. Oop. There we go. Not bad. And I don't I don't aim down the scope, but I guess technically you could. And you can hold it with two hands. And just go like this. Close one of your eyes and I guess it would be my left eye that I should be closing. And then shoot. But that doesn't really help much with the accuracy, so I I personally just aim by feeling. Um I forgot the technical term by it or for it. But there's a there's a term for aiming by feeling, at least with a bow. Maybe not a crossbow. It probably is. Okay, got myself two keys. I am actually gonna go back real quick, give this haste potion a shot, and get this tier three chest in here. Ka Ching, push that through, and right here. 
Oh my. Jumping really high. What are we gonna get? Ice bomb. Come on. Longbow. Okay, cool. Not too shabby. And, oh, do I have to go up? No, I don't. I came that way. There's no doors. Usually there's doors on those two sides over there. But not this time. And let me just break that so I don't kill myself in the middle of battle. And here we go. Activating the recon. Recon drone. I'll, I'll try to snipe up top here. Oh, it is it is tough, though. Especially aiming at a different level. Let's see if I... Oh. Oh no, the purple guy's pushing the zombie, making him faster. Okay, nice. Look where this arrow is. That's quite interesting. Oh, okay. And always, when they're slouched, go for those headshots. Might as well just get that extra damage. Um, unless they're imps. Which, again, I, I'm i noticing there's no imps in this dungeon. And I believe that's because it's a purple. Um, purple, what am I saying? A, a, a vile hall dungeon has nothing to do with purple <laughs> but yeah so I, I'm what I'm thinking now is that the vile halls and um, oh, if I could get that shot that would be awesome oh yeah let's go sniping I think I hit that guy in the head too nice oh and and when you when you have a status effect um, when you have two status effects uh, one of them takes over the other, so if I hit him with slowing, then the next shot is poison, then the poison, they'll only be poison, they won't be slowed. Same with if they're poisoned and I hit slowing, they'll only be slowed. Basically whatever hits them last or most recent. Also I do have the impale perk, which basically just gives me plus criticals on 40% of my shots, or, or plus 200 damage. Oh my gosh, getting sniped. These guys are better snipers than I am. No, they aren't. They suck. Most of the time. Oh, so do I. All right. But yeah, so I mean, if it's truly the case that, oh, wow, I've got big boy. But yeah, you can see, like, I'm I'm shooting through him, um, and usually you can't shoot through him. Um, I'm just going to try to reload as fast as I can, and spam him um but yeah usually you can't shoot through his armor or like through his sword with the bow i mean not even usually always um but in this case because we've got the crossbow we can go right through it and it's no problem and yeah he hit me with that ground pound thing but it just didn't do any damage i don't know why that's even a thing and i should have been aiming for the head the whole time there but i just wasn't for some reason here we go. Nice, nice. And that is that is it. A little quick run with the with the bow. See if I can get my my thing. Nope. Okay. Yeah, poison arrow. Beautiful stuff. Um turning to the outpost. Here we are. But yeah, yeah, as you can see, that was it's not I don't know. It, it was it was cool. It's always cool to run the crossbow. Um, just not as, not quite as fun as the uh, the bow, in my opinion. Just, just a little too easy, I guess. Um, and just, you you don't get the cool feel of of being like a per a character in Lord of the Rings or something. What is that, Legolas? I think. Uh, if if I'm right about that, I'm not a huge Lord of the Rings guy, but. Yeah, yeah, no, that's still fun stuff. Still fun stuff, nonetheless. And this this bow looks pretty cool. Uh, or, sorry, crossbow. But, yeah, no, again, that was that. Um, and as I was explaining, the Sandstorm and Vile Halls, I don't think those guys have imps in them. So I think these, in theory, are easier than these. And Underworld has a lot of freezing stuff. Lava Forge has a lot of... Um, whatever you call them exploding stuff yeah it, it does have a ton of exploding stuff and that's they have bomber imps and yeah and all kinds of all kinds of good fun stuff in the lava forge vile halls probably the easiest so i just used a crossbow which is one of the easiest weapons to use and be good with uh, aside from the fact that it doesn't have auto aim so you do have to 
kind of get a decent aim um, and kind of predict where they're going if you're sniping them. But, yeah, file holes. Probably the easiest, second easiest, third easiest, or maybe a tie for fourth or third easiest right here. But yeah, that uh, that is it. Uh, a little, little rant at the end. But hope you enjoyed the video and peace out.